Okay, welcome to Steel Defending Normandy 44. Yeah, it's Normandy 44. Yeah. yeah, this game. And that, uh, yeah, I think I know it's published by. You, but the fire. The. Oh my god, I couldn't see it. Um. Ah. Uh, 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 powered up, yeah, powered up. And apparently. Isn't that the death is made this? Yeah, the death. Yeah. Oh yeah, they have a mo they have a steam mode set piece on the game. Set piece to boot camp. I'm playing a man. What the? Look at that. Hey, you have a speed up. Basic combat tactics in every field. Instantly turns a turkey in the airplane and supply. Be very careful, I thought you would be down over here. Make sure you're so well. Why is that my own? 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 Why Yeah, officer and receiver of posting with our chief and governor for the Akab campaign for liberty, liberty in the world. Okay, uh, maximum which way is changing is to stop airborne division. Hey, I think I saw then the H2 airborne This is screws which focus on the biogram and then base it to mount man you've heard on the field you may be taught you may you will oh yeah you will, you will be taught but go out but yeah we have that uh, Welcome to boot camp, cadet. I'm your drill sergeant. In this first exercise, I'll instruct you in the ways of issuing basic move orders. But first, in Steel Division, each battle begins with a selection of the units to be deployed during the action, called a battle group. Click next to compose your battle group. This is your battle group overview. It's composed of eight unit classes, which we will explore step by step during the boot camp's exercises. Can I have a nuke? Oh wait, that's probably, yeah, that's not invented yet. That's going to be invented in there. Oh wait, it's probably been trying to be in testing phase. They announced in Japan, nuke two cities. Can't remember the names. Yeah, 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 uh. Each category contains up to 10 slots in which you will later place a unit's pack. Only the unit's pack selected in your battle group will be available for the mission. For the purpose of this exercise, we've granted you access to the infantry class with one unit pack slot. Left click on the slot to edit this class. Did they hire that? Did they, did they have a good voice actor or bad voice actor? That's it, that's a bit horrible. Welcome to the showroom of the infantry class. It seems like the raw recruits are ready for the exercise. In Steel Division, units are available by pack. Packs are composed of one of several units' cards, which represent the maximum number of deployable units on the field. Notice the available airborne rifles pack. 
Click on the unit pack and hover values to obtain further information about the unit. Oh, I will. Oh. Right click or drag and drop the available airborne rifles pack on the empty slot to be able to deploy it on the field. Well, it's, it's gone now, oh god. Welcome to the showroom of the infantry class. Oh. It seems like the raw recruits are ready for the exercise. In Steel Division, units are available by pack. Packs are composed of one of several units' cards, which represent the maximum number of deployable units on the field. Notice the available Airborne Rifles pack. Click on the unit pack and hover values to obtain further information about the unit. Right click or drag and drop the available airborne rifles pack on the empty slot to be able to deploy it on the field. Once the airborne rifles pack is in your battle group, click back, then validate to see next how the land lies. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, uh, no, I can't. In Steel Division, each battle begins by the deployment phase. Its purpose is to pre-position your units within the blue area, called the deployment zone, and plan your strategy before the battle begins. To position a unit on the deployment zone, click on the requisition menu to deploy it. Then click on the Airborne Rifles pack and left-click on the deployment zone. The number on the requisition menu is your given 70 requisition points for the deployment phase. A deployed airborne rifles unit uses one card from the pack and 35 requisition points. Once all the unit cards have been deployed on the map, the pack disappears. Hmm. Fuck, probably. Have them there be protected, but there's a house right there. Probably have like a fair plan points, probably just in case, um, put them there. Infantry units are deployed with a transport already accounted for in the card. Aww. The WC-25 truck is an unarmed transport from which the Airborne Rifles Squad disembarks to fight on the battlefield. Vehicles go faster on the road. It is advised to deploy motorized unit on road to quickly reach a strategic position. You can shift the unit's position by holding down left click on the unit's tag or remove it right click from the map to place it back to the requisition menu. Click the launch battle button once you have completed the deployment. Yes, sir. Well done. The battle is launched and your deployed WC-25 is now under your control. Control the camera using the short keys. Direct it using the arrows. Rotate it by pressing the middle mouse button and the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Zoom. Your objective here is simple. Notice on the map the road that goes to issue your... Nothing to report. The unload at position orders the transport units to take the fastest way using the road network and disembark their passengers at the selected position. Beware, once the unit is disembarked, the transport disappears and cannot be used again. When a unit receives an order, you can select it and press shift to display the ongoing order in real time. You can also give multiple orders by pressing shift. A unit can also comply with other move orders. The move order orders the units to take the straightest route to the selected position. The move fast orders a vehicle to take the quickest route using the road network to the selected position. Loud and clear! <laughs> I don't know why they said it. 
they sound like some like the station Pacific. Yes, that series I did. I did the campaign for the US, but then I never did it for the Japan. One but. transport unit has reached the farm. You can wait for the unload at position order to comply, or you can use the disembark to immediately disembark the airborne rifles from its transport. No sign of enemy units. The farm is secured. Well done, sir. Your airborne rifle squad is now controlling the area. Yeah, like, for a second there. Yeah, then they didn't even notice. Uh, yeah, they didn't know they comply. They comply to me when I said. And that just kind of confused me, just trying to... Oh, okay. That's probably annoying me. I'm pressing the arrow key. Up. But I didn't turn up the deployment on that one, but... I pressed the down button, it does that. What the word means? Oh, my family members, we have a lot of One is it selected the top one, not the bottom one. <laughs> the second exercise will be your first contact with an enemy. I will teach you how to deal with the front line, urban cover, and firepower. Click next to build your battle group. We have unlocked two unit pack slots. Let the airborne M1919 machine gun is now available. It is an infantry team with a medium machine gun. Different units in Steel Division have different equipment. This impacts their requisition points cost, roll, and card availability. Learning how to distinguish each pack by hovering over their values is crucial for your success on the field. Each pack fills one activation points. Here you have two activation points maximum at your disposal. Fill your battle group to spend them all. Pick the Airborne Rifles Pack and the new Airborne M1919 Machine Gun Pack to validate your battle group. Hmm. The, why is the face of it ugly? I know it's a statue game, but I can literally see it. See them. It's ugly. It's like 2004 and 5. Probably around Call of Duty. No, wait, no, um. Probably. Hmm? That'd be probably around. Uh, 
Um, yeah, it's for like brown weather, like the faces just have less detail. Oh. The red front line indicates a perimeter controlled by an enemy. Army intelligence has warned us that at least one enemy unit is holding the farm sector. Since your units are deployed with their transport, you should not expose them that way to enemy fire. Instead, disembark them in the selected area near the farm sector so they can close on the enemy position on foot. You can issue your first move orders during the deployment phase. Select the deployed unit and order unload at position and apply it. Keep in mind that your troops will comply with the order only when the battle starts. Click the launch battle button once you have completed your deployment. Carried away, sir. Yeah, she lines me up. Notice that the front line is moving when your troops are advancing. Most of the units in Steel Division influence the front line, so it gives you a feedback on enemy strength and direction, and vice versa. Yes, sir. I'll let you off at these coordinates. Hit to here with W. We've arrived. Disembark your troops here. Um. Nothing to report. Mm. Yes, sir. These farm buildings appear empty. They can provide good cover for your men. Notice the mouse's cursor color changing when you hover over map elements. The color indicates the level of protection. Yellow for light cover and cursor green for heavy cover. Okay, so probably this one to be good. And now so I don't get saw that easily. Oh. No way. Yo. Crab spotted checker sites. Um, that one, that one. German grenadiers are firing at us. Okay, so this is the one, first taste of battle. These grenadiers are tough guys with their deadly light machine guns. The best way to dislodge them is to meet them with superior firepower from the cover of the farm building. Fire. Notice the unit status gauge above the unit tag. It indicates the suppression level of a unit. When it's full, the soldiers are pinned down. Oh, they have the out have them pinned. Pinned down units can surrender by moving close to them. Mm. It's also a good way of neutralizing an enemy. Sir. 
Congratulations, sir. The enemy is pinned down. If you are close enough, you can make them surrender. Yes, sir. Suppressing fire. Great job. The enemy section has been neutralized. Well done, sir. The front line is moving and is now overlaying the farm as there are no further enemies there. You've learned how to use the basics of the infantry in the front line to use morale and urban cover at your advantage. Good job. Oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't watch like videos about this pretty much. It's just like what's like probably a couple minutes. Damn so game I didn't watch even gameplay of it, like I was one competition of the YouTubers that was like I remember there was Angry Joe on the German side and that's very much it for like the YouTubers and uh, but I never like probably seen gameplay. So this is like new to me. This will probably, oh, probably be fine now. <laughs> you know, yeah, okay, let's be. Four medicines for each arc. Wait. Oh, we're finessing the. Ah. Nazis. And now my video will be taken down by the German country. Because. I only the the one to the not about is the world two and about what they did and that Last night, American and Allied airborne forces boarded their planes and took off towards France. Shortly after midnight this morning, and despite the German anti-aircraft defenses, our boys set foot behind enemy lines in Normandy. In the meantime, at dawn, the greatest armada ever assembled opened fire and proceeded to land assault troops on the shores of France. The liberation of Europe is underway as we speak. Both airborne divisions have been blown to the four winds all over the Cotentin Peninsula. Let's hope it'll disorganize the Germans as we planned. Wait, they planted like half the men have been misdropped, sir, including ourselves. We seem to have landed at the boundaries between our 82nd and the 101st. Way too far from the division's objectives at St. Mariglise and the bridges over the Merdere River. Yet we aren't the only ones completely off mark. The first amphibious assault wave has just hit the beach right on schedule, but much further south than planned. That is just east of our present position. New orders from Division HQ, sir. You are placed in charge of a provisional task force, gathering any isolated paratroopers in the area, whatever their unit, and securing Eau de Ville La Hubert to allow our ground force to exit the beach as quickly as possible. The city and vicinities are held by a mere company of infantry. We must seize it as quickly as possible and put Eau de Ville in a state of defense to repel any attempts by the Germans to recapture it, and then counterattack quickly to open the way. The German coastal defenses are manned by auxiliary troops of poor military value, but they are supported by heavy guns. Any help we could provide in destroying those guns would hasten the amphibious forces advance inland. Here's 
our objective, Audouville. Compose your battle group. Jeeps and M20 command cars are our cavalry. Their 50 caliber machine guns will pin down the enemy infantry and rout light vehicles. Their mobility allows them to intervene wherever they're needed, but they must be kept out of harm's way as they are very fragile. What the hell is that? That's ugly as hell. Mortars and howitzers are the answer to our paratroopers being pinned down by an enemy defense position. Shelling or smoking a machine gun is a very efficient way to silence it. Okay, we need to get those guys in. Let's have a look around. Taxi detox for a charging game. And there's no fuss about that. <laughs> Line of sight. Where's the uh, Spreading. 
Enemy spotted. Oh, they do a head on attack. I got him! Mm. Enemy nearby. Protect the gun. We haven't secured the objective yet, Major. Keeping the enemy under mortar fire or moving under cover of a smoke screen could ease our progression. Hand me the binoculars, private. There's a bit more like to see. I have nothing else planned for this afternoon. Let's have a look around. Here's our objective, Audouville. Compose your... Troops ready for deployment, sir. Just give the order to launch the offensive when you're ready. Artillery at your orders. Moving on to new firing position. Redfall Express ready. Waiting for orders, Captain. 
Yes, sir. Scouts, at your orders. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, being about to, about to stay in the back. Are you sure it's safe there? Oh God, is that a tank? No, it's on my car. Didn't I do it? Follow my tracers. At your orders. Fire on that position. We're paratroopers. We're supposed to be surrounded. the objective yet major keeping the enemy under mortar fire or moving under cover of a smoke screen could ease our progression Fire! Smash him! 
Troopers. We're supposed to be surrounded. Yes, sir. Fire. Hand me the binoculars, Private. We need morphine here! Open fire! Move on! Gory, gory, what a hell of a way to die! Out here, we'll find them. Germans, we shouldn't be here. Can you give me that 
Secured. We should bring MGs and AT guns to ambush any German reinforcements. Let's have a look around. You want it? I got it. Guns primed and ready. Ready 
need a fire. We're operational. Okay, yep. Uh, oh, the later have gotten. Ready to blast some tanks, sir. Checking belt, sir. Enemy column in sight. We must stop them. Gun ready. At your orders, sir.
Sir. Consider it done, sir. See some fireworks. Locked and loaded, sir. Your orders. Bye. 
fire on my command. For God's sake! At your order. there, sir. from Division Major. Time to counterattack and open the way to St. Mary Glees. Here comes the Mighty Eight, sir. Duck your head. We're easy target here. Major, there's no time to lose. We must reinforce Colonel Ekman in St. Mary Glees. 
Nine M4A1DD are driving inland with our troops, sir. I don't think we could have done a better job today. It will give us a solid armor core to support our advance on St. Mary Peace. Yay, fit to a I'm a be a competent commander in this game. Birdie. Okay, this is it for this episode. I didn't expect to be this long for a first episode. So see you guys in the next episode of No it's probably like a video, probably, yeah. Oh yeah, and if there is if this is the first episode you've seen of this from me in like months ago. Months that's because I was lazy pretty much. Didn't upload videos anymore. Don't know why it's pretty lazy, don't know why so I tried to do it but failed. And I lost my intro. By I oh, yeah, I was trying to uh, my idea was to delete all the videos of my my hard drives but I accidentally deleted my intro and covered it up further so yeah so this will probably have the first video in a while probably will be a couple of videos will be have no intro right now it feels it feels like back to the good old days. Not that long ago. Two years? No wait. No wait. Three years. I remember I'm doing this for three years. Three long years. That was so long. <laughs> so yes it.